Hi everybody and hello church, hello tribe, flame and sunbeams. Um, this morning we want to uh, say hello to you all, hope you're all well, doing well. And we want to thank Sinan and Matteo for taking some excellent photographs during lockdown. They have sent some beautiful photos, really fantastic. And as my flatmate Amy said, they're National Geographic standard. So classy photos and we will print some of these uh, at, uh, when we go back to church. And uh, we also want to introduce Elaine and um, she's going to do some ask you some questions from Mark chapter 7. So we're uh, zooming through Mark's gospel. I hope you're all enjoying it and I hope you're managing to read some little stories out of it along the way. So you'll really enjoy uh, getting um, letting God speak to you personally. And also we're going to see the guinea pigs, see what they're up to in lockdown. So thanks very much. Bye. tribe and welcome to another Sunday service. It's great to be here. Sorry that we can't be together in person but hopefully very soon we will all meet together. You can hear my little birds in the background. They're obviously giving me a little nudge telling me to get on with things. So today I'm going to ask you two questions from Mark's Gospel chapter 7. The first question is what did the Pharisees accused Jesus and his disciples of not doing before they ate. And you'll find that in verse 1 to 4. So have a read of that. Question 2 is how did Jesus heal the deaf and mute man? What two things did Jesus do to make him better? That's kind of at the end of the chapter, so you're going to have to read all the way through it to find those two answers. So once you've got the answers, send them on to Michelle and we'll see what prizes you guys get. But hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye from my little friends in the corner. See you soon. Bye. Unfortunately, our little Daniel's out, so we're going to leave his prize by the door. Hi, Hi Auntie Michelle. Thank you for the um, popcorn and the uh, cake. Um, God bless you. Here are the two examples of what shows why 
Jesus is the Son of God. Example 1. Jesus looked up to heaven and prayed to God and provided 5,000 fish and 5,000 loaves of bread to the people. Example 2. Uh, Jesus' disciples were in tragedy as they saw a figure, the figure of Son of God, walk on water as he calmed the sea and the storm. Hello, tribe. This is Edward. Hi. Uh, and he, you might not recognise him because he's had his hair cut. <laughs> so he looks very dashing today. And he's, he's won um, some dinosaur popcorn for his great answers. And we've got some guinea pig cupcakes for the family. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> Banana cup oh, no, no, no. So give a wave. Thank you, Michelle, for the popcorn. Pleasure. I hope it tastes nice. <laughs>